Hello, Heather Smith here. In this session, we are doing an introduction to Zero Reports. This is a beginner session, an overview for the very new user. So when you click on the Reports uh, tab on the menu bar, you have two options available to you, All Reports and Budget Manager. So if you click on All Reports, this is the screen that you actually come to. Now there's a few things to be aware of here. We have uh, a few reports here, performance, cash reports, foreign currency reports, which would only be available to those who are on a large end scale package and can do multiple currency in uh, zero. Payroll reports, a few payroll reports there. Um, those would only be available to Australian users who have payroll. There are a few payroll reports for other users position reports and detail reports. Now, a few things to highlight. If I actually come over here and, and click on uh, something that's popular, profit and loss statement and balance sheet. So I've, I've highlighted those two ones. I've put a little blue star beside them. If I now click on reports, you can see that they are now listed as my favorites. So I can add additional reports to my favorites. Uh, the other thing to note is there are four tabs back here, Summary, Draft, Publish and Archived. So I can uh, look at reports, customise reports and save them as draft. I can formally publish them and I can archive them. Now, the other area to look at here is the Budget Manager. So let's just click on that and see what I can do here. So the budget manager, it looks like I have a, a budget set up here. From here, I can select budgets or I can add new budgets. It's really good to know that you can actually add multiple different budgets. So you can have a main budget and then reforecast it uh, perhaps every quarter, depending, uh, updating it with information that you know that's coming through from the uh, economic environment and from your business internally. I've got start dates um, and the actuals. So if I actually want the actual uh, real information for that period uh, next to the budgeted information and then um, allowing me how many periods I want, three, six, 12, 24. And I can click on update there uh, to give myself the information there. Then I have the overall budget information here. This is kind of, uh, if I click on wide view, this gives you opportunity actually to see wide view. and I can enter in my budgeted information here and as I scroll down I have four options at the bottom. I can import information, I can export it, I can save it and I can cancel it. Okay, So I'm just going to uh, cancel that and back down to standard view. So I clicked wide view, standard view. There you have it, very quick introduction to Xero's reports, the overview for the new user.